success of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie showed that people love stories about buried treasure. And there's a real treasure worth millions in gold and silver that's found off the coast of Florida by a family of real-life treasure hunters. Now, we sent our correspondent, Mo Rocca, down to join the treasure hunt. Here he is to tell us about it. Mo, come out here. Mo Rocca, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mo, how'd it go? Well, Jay, you know, I've always been captivated with sunken treasure, mm -hmm. which is why I spent so many years as a Navy SEAL. Anyway, it turns really? out... The, really? Yes, indeed I did. I'm mean killing machine. Yeah, yeah. anyway, um, off the coast of Key West lies the largest sunken treasure ever, mm -hmm. and Mel Fisher Treasures invited me to come down and take a look. Now, I remember seeing Mel on the old show with Johnny, and he mm -hmm. found like $100 million or $200 million worth of treasure he found, right? Mm -hmm. that, that, that's correct, and yeah. as you'll see, they're yeah. still finding gold bars today. Really? It's, it's, re it's really remarkable. And you brought some tape? Well, I said as you'll see, obviously, yes. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> You know, as Sorry. a Navy SEAL, you're about to get your ass kicked. But here, let's take a look. Let's take a look. In 1622, a Spanish galleon named the Atocha met with a hurricane that sank it to the bottom of the ocean. In it, a treasure that would make Donald Trump's hair stand on end. <laughs> Hundreds of millions in gold and silver remained there for centuries until a group of Florida treasure hunters discovered it in 1985. July 20th, 1985. Tell me what happened. Uh, we found the mother load. Uh, mm. It's a, a, just this incredible pile of, of silver bars about the size of a loaf of bread, as far as you could see. The Spaniards were sort of the rap stars of their day. I mean, they, with all the bling. They would wear pounds and pounds of gold. If they could wrap it around their neck, they didn't have to pay taxes oh on it. Gosh, I, I, I just if they had those rules today, Oprah wouldn't be able to walk. <laughs> So, Morgan, you work in conservation here, right? Yes, and this is what all the artifacts look like mm. when they first come up. They've got this heavy layer of concretion. Now, it's, it's almost like a fun, a fun game, trying to figure out what these objects are. This is actually a sword. A leaf blower. It's a sword. Okay, it's a, okay. that's it's, a sword. Oh, my God, I had no idea that in 1622 they had the thigh master. That's amazing. All right, come back. Oh, it's a little bit painful. The, the shells make it a little bit... Oh, sorry. It's easier with some sort of padding. If I go out and I find something... It... It's mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> is there anywhere maybe I can keep it where you wouldn't find it? Um, no. Nowhere you can think of? No, no, we check you thoroughly. Mm. What a cannon. Oh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. To bring it up to our uh, archaeological conservation office to remove all the crustacean and get the balls out because the balls were embedded. And, ah, I uh, hate when that happens. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> it's because when, when this happens, with the truck drivers have that problem too, because the seat is sloped so sharply. And then the, <laughs> can anyone sign up to be a part of the crew? And we're on board. We're on board the J.B. Magruder salvage vessel. What are some dangers I have to consider as a treasure hunter? Well, the dangers to do with the diving part of it would be don't uh, come up too fast. Make sure you don't hold your breath at any time during the dive, that you're constantly breathing and exhaling. And that's all I have to worry about? Yeah, that's all. Great. So you've been a treasure hunter for a year and a half. Yeah. What did you do before this? Concrete construction. Oh, oh, see, I had you pegged for a 1970s porn star. Oh, how do you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to air that part, really. So, I mean, what was it like? Yeah. Oh, think I see something. Ah, uh, no, just more Cubans. <laughs> well, what sort of a celebratory dance you do on the bottom of the floor? Well, we, we have a little treasure dance. It's kind of kind of like a... Yeah, you go, boy. Oh, yeah. you stir that pot. Stir that pot. With all those yeah. Yeah, ingots, man. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pieces yeah. of eight. Yeah. Mm. And if you guys are just, like, sort of having a celebration down below, maybe it's, you know, right? Y-M-C-A. Yeah, it's more like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about sign language underwater. What kind of signals do you all give each other for safety or for um, when you found something? You know, the, the usual like this and... Uh, and the, the diver's okay. And when a shark is coming at you and you're swimming away from your partner, you go. Uh -huh. 
Bye bye, butthole. Yeah. I'm one of the few Americans that needs a weight belt to sink to the bottom of the ocean. With millions still to be found, it was time to go for the gold. Ooh, sashimi. Kim, I'm noticing that the visibility gets worse as we go deeper. Yes, yes. Uh, who's behind me? Oh, it's just Bill, the former 1970s porn star. This map I brought is absolutely useless. Thanks for nothing, AAA. Ah, so this is why he lost Florida. Kim, just wondering, are hallucinations normal down here? No. Um... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Okay. Well, we just found a beautiful pottery shirt. Well, I won't be smuggling this home in my butt. Hey, Kim, mind if I break for a snack? I'm just gonna whip up a quick salad. Would you like some? Whoa. Mmm, Newman's own adds a perfect zest. Come on, what the hell is wrong with you? with the gold, but I am going home with an idea for ratings gold. That's right, dancing with the treasure hunters. You